Holly Finglass, director of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. And I've broken my foot. Come on, you don't have to break your leg on my account. It's great to be back here at AT&T Stadium. And tonight, the rookie and veteran candidates come together for the start of training camp with our first meeting. As a team, we're not back to normal after COVID, but we aren't having training camp in a bubble, and that's progress. Online auditions worked so well for us last year that we're doing that again. We had close to 600 submissions from all over the world, and we now have selected 51 ladies that we've invited into training camp. This is the largest training camp we've ever had. Every year we say this is the most talented team we've had and somehow it elevates every year and the magic happens. From what we've seen so far, this season's talent and technique is off the charts. The skill of these new candidates could put some veterans at risk. The one big question we all have is will these ladies get to dance on the field and if so, how many? I don't know the answer to that right now. We have 15 total judges today. We have members of the media, ownership, dance, and choreography judges, all helping me to decide who are the most captivating, entertaining, and delightful performers. We've got boots to fill. How many? Because you are going to be surprised. Why? Your favorite's not trying out. Judy just told me that Maddie is not coming back. I was not expecting that today. Like, I'm not gonna cry, but that girl was my girl. She went from a girl that did not make it her first year to being the leader of a team for almost five years. She was a great one. And I'm anxious to see who is gonna step up and fill the big shoes of Maddie. All right, all right, are you guys ready to get it started? Hey! We have chosen a super strong person to start this off today. Number one, Gina. Solos show who's entertaining, tell us who's captivating. The solos can show who's experienced under pressure. So damn strong. She is. Solos is my very favorite round. It's so fun to see a little bit into their personality. There were a lot of great veteran solos this year. Shawnee just has this mix of girl next door meets sultry. Rachel W. To be so flawless looking and so soft spoken, she turns on the heat when she starts dancing. That smile on her face, I don't know how you can watch Armani dance and not just enjoy what she's doing. It was so much fun to watch her. Let's welcome back this familiar face. Give it up for number four, Ashlyn. I hope that just watching my solo, they could see that I'm a different Ashlyn than I was last year. Stronger than ever, Daphne. Eight weeks ago, I completely ruptured my ACL. I am going to admit I'm not 100% back yet. Craziest thing, this injury, I've never felt any pain. So everyone's always like, how's the knee doing? And I'm like, you know, the knee's still feeling like the knee. Be careful. Ah, it makes me nervous. It's hard to judge somebody injured. The Daphne that was there today, while great, was not as great as we know that she can be. Is she gonna be better in time? And decisions like that are completely heartbreaking because she's a huge asset to the team. Please welcome cat number 40. Oh, she brought the cane back. I had to bring back because it just ended on a terrible note. I just forgot the whole beginning of my solo. I missed my leg on my leg turn. That K 
cane needs to go in the trash. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I had a dream that she was going to do that. I, and it was weird. She walked out with a cane and I had already seen it in my head. Yeah. It's hard to keep judges' attention for 90 seconds. As short as that sounds, that's a long time to just keep us totally captivated. She's like at a five instead of 10 on power. Yeah. Rebecca, as a soloist, was a great technician. You can tell she's trained. You can tell she is experienced. My solo, for me, it's just a reflection of all the love and the self-confidence that I have for myself. But I hope it was good. <laughs> OK. Great one, veteran. I'm just trying to make sure that I prove that I'm a vet this year and show why I'm on the team and show why I can be here for another year. Okay, leave your heart on the floor. Gina gone and done now. <laughs> Gina, yes ma'am, you came to play, Gina. Kat, you did a great job. Okay, what's your name, sweetheart? Madeline. Madeline, we lost you over there. What? You were having a hard time with the choreo, but I looked over and you were just on an island. This is very outside my comfort zone. Outside of your comfort zone means nothing. If you want to be a professional dancer, if you want to make this team, you have to excel at everything that's given to you. So I would like to see you do it again, if, if it's possible. OK, next group. I felt like I made it through OK enough to where I would just maybe get a comment and then be done. But she really went in on me, I felt like. And I'm such a crier. So I was like really trying not to cry. Madeline, I want to see the fire in your eyes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm watching Armani and Lexi. Come on! All right, Madeline. You fought for it. I gave it my all, and I fought for it, which is what she wanted. I felt like I was able to gain her respect back or attention and prove to her why I'm on this team. Way to go, Vic. OK, next group, which would be these rookies. Tori? Yes, ma'am. Tori, I'm going to tell you before we start, you're a tally like me, which means we have to work twice as hard, get low to the ground, no excuses. Yes, OK. I got you. All right.
challenged you, Tori. You came with it. Thank you. Lovely. Aaron, you were having a really hard time with this routine, and I just found myself like kind of watching a train wreck a little bit. It was just kind of like all over the place. Does that make sense? Christina, I can tell you're already like beating yourself up. The moment you started to mess up, no time for that. Just jump back in it. Got it? Thank you. Hello. Let's do this. We're in the middle of week three, and I have heard back from Daphne, and she is unfortunately having to pull out of training camp to focus on her rehabilitation now of two knees. Daphne's such a beautiful example of character. She really appreciates our support, and she has no regrets for trying her best to be back this season. Now that Daphne's place has changed, we are just 10 people over roster. We have 46 ladies in training camp with a final roster of 36. How are we tonight? Good. Sore? Sore. Sore. <laughs> tonight is going to be totally different than the last rehearsal. It's going to be all energy. Our guest choreographer tonight started as a competitive cheerleader. Now he's a dancer, and he's just energy. Just energy, energy, energy. Welcome out, Evan Woo! Miller! Yeah! Really excited to learn from Evan. Evan's style is a little bit of my favorite of everything. He has like a jazz funk, a hip hop, and a palms, and he is very uplifting and fun. So I'm very, very excited. Yes, hug, hug. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. You've never taught on this turf, I right? I have not taught on this turf, no. <laughs> but we're gonna dance a lot today, so be ready. I'm living in Los Angeles, California, and I'm dancing and creating and choreographing for artists, and to be back in person is an absolute joy. One palm. Oh my God, she's about to faint. <gasps> oh God, I thought she was about to faint. I thought she was fainting. And then she was on her phone. <laughs> oh my God, she scared me. So Evan was saying, try to experiment, create a story. And so I was trying to create a backstory of my ex was calling. You scared me to death. I was answering the phone. I know, but you're also were rolling your head around. And I was like, oh my God, she's about to faint. Seriously, you scared me. Did not translate. Definitely kind of looked like I was fainting a little. <laughs> I plan on doing a little bit of freestyle so that the dancers can showcase what gifts they have. Oh, this is my favorite! I like to give dancers an opportunity to come out and show me what you got. I want you to really just own it. Like, we are all here watching you as the superstar. There's no, I'm scared, I'm nervous. No, this is your damn job. So you get out there and do it, okay? Okay. We'll go around the circle. The circle of tricks is just always kind of fun. The girls are showing off in front of each other. It's kind of like a little pep rally. don't know exactly what that was Kylie was doing, but she is entertaining. Hey. Kaylee, no real tricks or excitement to speak of. Yes. I'd like Kelly to just break through that wall so that she can be on this team. Diana is absolutely dynamic. Wow! Beautiful! Woo! Rebecca's style is super strong, and she knows how to use the legs that God blessed her with. adorable her shape is. For everybody trying out, this is definitely a big dream come true. They describe this as a superhero moment. 
looks like heaven. <laughs> Again, we're the pearly gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never been in here before. Hello. 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 Each lady gets to meet with Lisa and has a custom fitted uniform literally molded to her body. This uniform is such an iconic piece of Dallas Cowboys history. It's in the Smithsonian. It's a big deal. This was first worn in 1972. Yes, ma'am. So this is actually the 50th season for these uniforms. To get to this point, to make it feel a little bit more real, it means everything. During the fitting, we are fitting the hips, the bust, the thighs, the waist. There are so many particular measurements and curves to make this uniform fit properly. For us, it's finally seeing them up close and personal. It's a good way to meet. <laughs> Kelly went straight to my mouse just because at first I didn't know how to tie the knot on the uniform. And she's a pro knotter, huh? <laughs> by the way, as you can see. It also gives me a chance to get to know their personalities a little bit more. OK, why did it take us four weeks to get you to come out of your shell last night? I'm just, I'm definitely more of a reserved person, and I feel like sometimes that comes out in my dancing, mm -hmm. so I'm definitely working on pushing past that, so trying to be better. I feel powerful in this. I think it's definitely helping with confidence. I think I struggle with that a little bit. You gotta kind of push past your comfort zone, really. Yes, ma'am. Not everyone gets a chance to be here. It's a really special moment. Let us tug and... Well, I've got you in an L, and it's really pretty big. See? Did not get to uniform fitting the first time. Yes, I did. I was in training camp 2019, and I wasn't really quite used to that style of dancing, but I have taken the time to take more prep classes. I feel way stronger, way more confident, and more powerful. You're one of the very, very, very few people in the world that had a mom as a cheerleader, and that's such a unique situation. I remember growing up seeing mom in the uniform, and not a lot of girls can say that they have that connection with their mom, but I'm very thankful that I'm so close to it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What is, is this, what is? It's tape, do you want, I can take no, it No, you're good. If you're hurt, I don't want to do something that, you know. Just a little back issue. Did Kendall tape you or? Yes. So you're I was cool. in a car accident three years ago. A drunk driver hit me and my friend. And so I have these cysts in my back. And so they irritate very easily. I'm a little concerned because she's been dancing kind of like she's held back or maybe can't explode enough. Yesterday, I was in so much pain. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the dancing's not gonna get any easier or less than. Right. Now I'm wondering, can she handle just the physical challenges of this? All right, we have a special guest to share some encouragement. Everybody give it up for Maddie! I was lucky enough to be invited back by some of the current veterans to pass along a little bit of my wisdom. I will say that timing is everything when it comes to making this team. If it doesn't happen the first time, it's okay. I am so grateful for the year I had that I, I almost made the team, but didn't. I came here at 18, didn't turn out the way I wanted it to the first time, but turned out the way I needed it to. Um, I would not have had the career I did here if it wasn't for being cut my first year. In that gap year, I honestly found myself and I really dove into personality traits that I wanted to exude when I came back. And that is what changed everything. So if this isn't your year, that's okay. It's a tough journey, but it's so, so worth it. You guys are great. This is a tough place to be, and I'm really proud of you. You guys are wonderful. To be mentored by the vets was super amazing, and then having Maddie come in and surprise us at the end was just, like, breathtaking. She's, like, a legacy out here. So that I kind of started to adapt was, like, I would flirt with the cameras, oh. and it actually ended up helping me so okay, much better. Okay, flirt with the camera. So I don't envy Kelly and Judy's job right now because the more that we work with these girls, especially one-on-one, -on -one, the more they're picking up on the subtleties. I think that at this point, it's really anyone's game. It's who's gonna continue to step up and rise to the challenge. <laughs> Week 
six has now officially begun and we are going to start getting more field ready. So tonight we want to do across the field entrance, we want to do kick line, and we want to do jump splits. Judy is now going to teach the field entrance and that is important because that is the first impression our audience has of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. This is a true test because if they can't figure out how to travel on the field, quick in this training camp, then they may not be a fit for our team. You're gonna start on your right foot, your arms are gonna go down and keep walking. One, two, three, four, and bring it back down. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it, marking it right here. And a one, two, three, four. If they can't pick up the entrance, it's an indicator that they can't perform in precision, and that is required of this team. Now wrap across. This is all very new for me, so I'm just excited to, you know, be doing this. Okay, hands on hips, and you're gonna travel five yards every four counts. So I'm trying to keep up with the choreography, and I just gotta make sure I am really on it. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four. The choreography is tough only because you're having to do so many things at one time. You're having to look at your yard line. You have to know the choreography and be able to do it while traveling five yards every four camps. Five, six, stretch. Oh God. One and two, three, and line. Don't pass the line, Kadiana. It's definitely more difficult than I thought. I think sometimes I overthink it a little bit and I think I'm not gonna get to my yard line, but I actually surpass it. I mean, you see it all the time, but doing it is another feeling. Seven, eight, don't pass it up. Rebecca, five, seven, eight. Ooh, press seven, those off. Seven, eight, one, two, three, you're there. Five, six, seven, eight. Be there on four, Rebecca. Presley, you're off on your lines. One, two, three, ball on the line. Okay, we're gonna try the jump splits tonight. Have y'all tried it on your own? I had never done jump splits before um, yesterday. I did it once by myself, so it is a little nerve wracking. I'm pretty excited, if you ask me. It's the best part of the game. I want y'all to get into your groups that we're performing in this week. The term that we use amongst ourselves when we're trying the jump split for the first time is you've got to fly and you can't second guess yourself. Just sit two and then? Yes. Hold? Yeah, might as well. Hold that, control it. I've never done a jump split in my whole life. I'm just gonna go for it. I can't, I don't wanna do it by myself because I won't make myself do it. But I'm hooked up with everyone. You can't not do it. So you just gotta go for it. Press up, Six. It was the first time I've ever done a jump split. No injuries, so that's good. The jump split is something that I've actually never done before. It was my first time. And so uh, when you do it, it's just like a little blip and you kind of forget what happens and you jump and then you're down. Yeah. Let's go. Today we have a big surprise for the rookie candidates. They are going into the studio locker room for the first time where they will see their pictures and their new home. It's right there. It's crazy. Oh. Do we all have one? We must, right? It's me. It's very motivating to see my picture up on it and know like, all right, girl, let's do this. You belong here. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, seeing our pictures on these lockers, it definitely helps. I mean, I really felt like I needed just a little something, just to, you know, light that fire, because you want this to be a reality. Oh my gosh, cute. It is very exciting for the, the rookies to see the locker room. It makes it feel like one step closer that they could be a cheerleader. It's just really awesome to see my picture up there and in lights. It just gave me just all the feels. I mean, I feel like in my heart. And tonight, I really want to make sure that I show Kelly and Judy I really deserve a spot here in Top 36. Welcome to Gillies and welcome to Showgroup Auditions. Okay, 
We are going to start with solos first. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, give us your best. Show group is a pivotal night. Okay, you guys, just get ready. There is a lot at stake. Not only are we choosing our show group, but we are watching each candidate to see if they will ultimately make our team. We're heading to watch solos. <laughs> okay, we're ready. It's all about breath and blocking everything out. Please welcome our first soloist, Alora Rose from Grattan, Connecticut. <laughs> You know I love me a solo. I love when somebody goes out, when they show off, and when they wow you. Woo! That's a strong back, yeah. Armani. It makes me so happy to see the growth that she has had, and she's so fun to watch on this piece. Denise's piece really speaks to some of our show group shows. Let's go! It's hip hop fused with jazz with a required amount of power. Okay. I'm looking for someone who can just master the music, the choreography, and just amplify the story in Denise's routine. Denise's choreography, super fun to watch. Very hard to do though. Take it from somebody that knows dance. That is a really hard routine to do. Big, I could make that pop. I'm not the one to play with. Like a touch me, not. Ava started the night really strong, but now that we're getting into a hip hop style, she's starting to lose me a little bit. Crazy curvy, wavy beak, little weight, body crazy curvy, wavy beak, oh, little weight, body yaddy 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 yaddy
screaming in heaven right now. I know all my angels are really proud of me. Kay Diana. Kelsey. Shandi. Armani. Mackenzie. Darian. Our last one for our 2021 show group is Tori. I'm just literally in shock right now. I can't even put it into words how happy, how excited, how just I have put so much hard work into all of this and it just feels like it's finally paying off. I am just ecstatic right now. Congratulations, all of y'all. It's a big job, a lot of responsibility. More importantly is us still choosing our team and getting back to training camp. We are at Tangerine Salon in Frisco in today's makeover day. Through the weeks, we've observed people that need new color or cut and style, and we've selected nine ladies for the makeovers today. When I dance, it like kind of just falls and like puffs out, and it's not too cute. They could honestly do anything that they think would look good on me, and I'm gonna trust them with that, but obviously no one wants, you know, purple hair or a big mohawk or a mullet. Having that look that makes them distinct can make a difference on these decisions. I think the DCC look is very elegant, nice hair. I think it's a natural glam. Whatever they do with my hair, I'm okay with it. So. Hello, Jensen. Hello. Marshall and I bring each lady to the chair, and then we literally start trying to diagnose things while we talk with them. If we could kind of fill this out. Each lady's journey in the salon chair is completely different. She has been dancing with a massive head of hair. So we have some sewn-in extensions yes. in here. How you feel if we took all the extensions out and really worked on bringing in your natural curl back in place? I think that's amazing. I'm excited. Okay, this is gonna be fun. You know, it would be a relief on my neck to lose so <laughs> hair, to be honest. Kevin and Toby are deconstructing Katiana, and what appears as one section is actually one, two, three. Close to half a pound of hair. Half a pound. You figure you're tossing around a couple of boxes of cooked spaghetti. Oh my goodness, you don't need it. Good morning, Good Kelly. Morning. It seemed to be the opinion of the judges that her face was so pretty and she was hiding it because she had like all this hair. Rosemary, what do you think? I know you're a professional and you work a lot of wig work, so yes. tell me about it. Yes, definitely taking the density away. And I know we had looked at possible swatches of a little yes. bit of color to kind yes. of add some dimension in there. Yes, I'll definitely warm up her face. The whole construction of the wig will probably be like 45 minutes. I'm ready. Awesome. Let's do this. Just something that kind of brings hair over to the side. I don't necessarily think I have the DCC look right now. I feel like it's going to dance and move mm -hmm. a lot more. That's what's not happening right now. I think today, with the makeover, it could help me get to the DCC look. Mm -hmm. She actually has natural highlights in her hair. A golden gloss all over everything would really bring some reflectiveness. This is my first time in a salon. In I a never, salon? I always go to my friend's mom, and so it's in her garage. She has a little mini salon. Well, we have a steel magnolia right here. <laughs> Can you guess where our mind is for your hair today? I'm assuming red. I wanted to see something a little bit more fiery. It is natural. I've never colored my hair or anything, but I have, you know, nothing against it. I would love to change it up. It's gonna be definitely a makeover to see. Hello, Miss Ava. Hello. The makeup, I feel that's the thing that's going to make you just really stand out. The major thing they wanted to focus on was my eye makeup. I like that my changes were a little bit minimal. I guess I was doing a little bit right. While some people were simply refreshing a look, it's a very creative process. I'm ready to change it up and see how it looks. I've never looked better. <laughs> They're looking at my natural hair and the natural curl and texture of it. 
This is always my favorite part. We have brought in Rosemary from Rose Style Studio, and she is a extremely talented stylist, and she specializes in custom-made wigs. The installation of the design, I mean, it's an art. These ones have been sitting for a while, so you can start seeing that it's turning to that brown that we want. I'm excited because I've never had color in my hair before. At the end of the day, it becomes a very rewarding process. <gasps> oh, I love it. This is more exciting than I ever would have imagined. This is the makeover of my dreams. I think this hairstyle really shows my bubbly personality. Oh my goodness. Sassy. Ah, so that much is so much more movement. Sure. And, and you look more glamorous. I love it. I have seen some ladies dance better the very night of makeovers because they feel more confident. You know, when you feel pretty, hey, it's energizing. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at you. I love this so much. Stunning. We made her a custom lace closure wig. I wanted to open up her face. The baby doll eyes, the high cheekbones, everything was coming out. The person I'm looking at in the mirror, I think she looks very much like a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Just putting it out there, hopefully. Now we are moving on to learn our places for our signature dance. The point is going to be named tonight. This is what you've been working for all summer. When you are the point of the triangle, you are leading the group, you are the focus, and you have to be perfect. Okay, so on the 50, let me have... Gina. For the first point of our triangle, Kelly and I have selected Gina. She's very showy. She's very big with her movements, so she definitely deserves this leadership position. You deserve it. Oh, you a piece of advice that Cash told me my rookie year, and she was actually pointing my rookie year, was to never change your style for anyone, never change who you are. She was on the 50 and did it her way, and she was amazing, and I'm hoping to live up to all of those girls that have inspired me over the years. Tonight, we want to revisit sideline dances. We want to dance in the groups that we had at the last show group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do new groups. Judy has another exciting announcement. If you'll go to the black carpet and we will put you in new 2021 groups. Group leaders are very important to our game day procedures. They are like the quarterbacks of our team. They make the calls. Group one, your first leader is Lexi. Lexi brings great experience. She also brings a great amount of maturity and grace and style. And your second leader is Ashley. Yeah. Got it. Group two, your first leader is Gina. Gina's? Second leader is Aaron. Group two, one, two, three. Woo. Group three, your first leader is Rachel. In every group that I've been in, I've loved the collaboration and um, when the leaders lead by example, and so that's what I'm gonna try to do. Her second leader is Amber. Group three. Your first leader is Caroline. I'm seriously so excited. I was shaking, crying, all the emotions, but I feel honored. Caroline's second leader is Jalen. For four. I'm about to have a call with Charlotte in regards to the NFL's final decisions on cheerleaders on the sidelines or not. Listen, I just wanted to tell you why I'm calling. I have spent the last few days on uh, all of these phone calls related to the season and to training camp, and I am thrilled to tell you that we just 
finally got approval to put the girls on the field. And I'm so excited. Oh, oh my God. Charlotte, that's awesome. I'm so excited. It's been so refreshing and renewing to remember how important being together and now getting to be on the turf is. Now we've got work to do. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, thank you for this um, heads up. This is the best call I've had. This is literally a game changer. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Who would think that you would be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader and not know if you were gonna get to be in the game or on the field? This is amazing, really. You know, we had something, everybody in the world had things taken away from them last year, but I've been doing this a long time and now it's gonna be a first time again. And these girls don't know it. Judy and I never get to surprise them. This is really gonna be a big surprise. We are ending week eight of training camp. I have an update. I got a call from Charlotte today, and the burning question is, will we be able to perform on the sidelines? And the phone call that I got today was, yes. into it a little? Yeah, perfect. Nice. Pretty. You can play a little bit. That's pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Today starts week nine and it's cameo day. We have one cut left and today can help us make some decisions. Beautiful. Cameo photos are used for all things publicity and marketing. These photos are used as the press and publicity photo for each lady. They are their locker decor. They are the cover of our calendars. These photos are featured in our Star Magazine. They're featured in our campaigns for our Christmas show and any game day marketing materials. They're literally used for everything this season. There's definitely a lot of pressure to make sure that your pictures look good today because we're on the final week of training camp, actually. So these pictures could be the make or break point for someone's spot on this team. I feel great having my makeup done today. I haven't gotten it done since prom, which was like four years ago. So this is so exciting. <laughs> There's a lot that goes on before the camera starts clicking. Yes! Beautiful wreck! Right. This one's so fun! Oh my gosh! There you go! So sparkly! When the ladies get their uniform handed to them from Lisa, it's a rite of passage. It's the uniform that they were custom fit with. Yes, way. It just says my name on it. Yes, it has your name on it. Oh my gosh! I have been doing this now for 15 years, and it is the same kind of wonderful every time, and each girl is different. And then they put it on. It fits like a glove. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Like you put some of your stars on. Oh, yeah. fun! Good job. Feels amazing. <laughs> it's like a dream come true. Okay, you get to turn around and see yourself. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm feeling really great. My mom was a DCC between the years 1987 to 1990, and these are the same earrings that she wore when she did her photos, and I'm so happy to be wearing them today. Whew. These are happy tears, happy tears, happy emotional tears. There's so many things going through my head. I saw pictures of my mom in this uniform growing up, but now I'm wearing one of them. I'm so thankful. You're gonna do just fine. Thank you. <laughs> now before rehearsal is over, Judy and I want to do some review with the candidates. Pink and blue will watch game film. I think this exercise will help bring things into focus for the ladies. We learned that video playback is a real effective way for you guys to see what we've been saying. Sometimes we talk through the corrections, but we want you to watch it with great detail. Sometimes you can't even believe something until you see it. So let's watch a little bit of rehearsal tape. We're out here in Oxnard, California, preparing for the 2021 
Dallas Cowboys football season, and I know you have been hard at work. You truly represent the best of the best of the very best. I have so many girl crushes after the show group trial. <laughs> Kudos to all of you that persevered. It takes a lot of courage to unapologetically and tirelessly work towards your dreams. I am always impressed with the girls that come back after a year of not making the team. Came back this year and you were better and stronger than ever. I'm most impressed with how much you guys were there for each other. That's what makes a successful team. We are thrilled to announce that you have been selected to join an elite group of performers from across the country and become a member of the 2021 Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. It's been over 20 months since we've been here. And we couldn't be prouder, whether this is your first time or your last time to take this field for the first time. It really feels like a new first for us. Y'all totally have this. You got it. You all have earned this moment, truly. You know, all the blood, sweat, and tears, all of the hard work. And remember all the people that it took to get you to this moment and dance for them and yourself today. Unreal, honestly, this is a dream come true. And if you were to tell me a year ago that I was a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, I don't think I would believe you. The long journey, the blood, sweat, and tears I put into making this my reality has absolutely been worth it. Couldn't be happier to be standing here right now and cheering on our Cowboys. to be one of the best moments of my life. I am a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Like, what? I am a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. <laughs>
guys joined up in the kick line. It was magical. And y'all didn't see it, but I started crying. I'm not making this up. This is from the depths of my heart. It was awesome. And I hope y'all feel incredibly proud of yourselves. Okay, y'all wanna pack up and zip up? <laughs> this year was unlike any other training camp we've ever had. So many of these ladies have overcome so much just to get here and then go through training camp and then make this team. It's an exceptional and extraordinary accomplishment. We all know tomorrow's not promised. We've had to say some goodbyes we weren't prepared for. I know these ladies have already learned to embrace the moment and to never give up. And a one, two. Everybody has dreams and needs dreams. They do come true, but you have to prepare and you have to work hard. Up, down, pull. But most importantly, you have to believe in yourself. And I hope people see themselves in one of our 36 team members and it inspires them to do what they love to do.